The Cottonmouth, easily one of the most feared snakes in the southern United States. I'm sure somebody you know has told you how one of these vipers chased them, or that this is the most aggressive pit viper on the planet. But what if I told you that most of what we hear about this incredible snake is actually false? I'm in northern Florida on an expedition to find some of the longleaf pine forest's incredible secrets. We're targeting rattlesnakes, but this area is rich with tons of other creatures that are special in their own right, including some very common but widely misunderstood pit vipers. Got a snake. I can't get a good look. That's a moccasin, baby. Got to make a break for it, everybody. Oh, he's mad already. That's what we're looking for out here. But this little snake is a great opportunity for something I've always wanted to do. Cottonmouths are a snake that have a really terrible reputation. But I want to show you that it's really, really, it's a misunderstood snake. A lot of people will tell you, they'll have you think that a moccasin is incredibly aggressive and incredibly, an incredibly mean snake. But as you can see right here, what is this snake trying to do? It's trying to get off the path, probably into a small body of water beyond this little edge of plants. Not trying to come after me. I'm already kind of messing with a little bit and he's not getting angry. He's not coming back after me. This snake, well, I wouldn't consider it a friendly snake, is not what I would consider to be aggressive. See, I came into this animal's habitat. I came well off the road. You know, we're, we're flipping out here, flipping logs, looking for different snakes. Where we came looking for guys like this. He's not looking for people. He's looking for fish and frogs and little tiny forest dwelling mammals that he can eat. If this snake shows any behavior that is against me, it's defending itself. And right now, you'll see he'll rattle his tail a little bit and he'll uh, flare his mouth open. But this is something that actually wants pick a fight with us. Now, some people will swear up and down that a cottonmouth will chase you, but if they don't run away, one of the things they'll actually do is they'll sit here and coil up. Now, when they're coiled up like this, this is the absolute worst time to ever touch this snake. I would never advocate you touch a snake like this, but if one coils up like this, that is the worst time to touch them because any part of his body right here is well within his strike range, and he can use these coils to really extend his strike range and he can spring out and grab you. And the thing is, these vipers can strike so fast that you'd have to move with them if you wanted to dodge. And if, you're, if he wants to bite you, you're getting envenomated by the cotton mouth. But more likely than that, what he's actually gonna do is he's actually gonna open his mouth and show that really white interior. And what actually happens is a lot of predators of him in the wild will see that white mouth against the really dark drab camouflage body and it kind of startles them. You know, we've seen a lot of different grasshoppers and stuff that have a really drab coloration, but then bright hind wings. That surprise will actually stun a predator for like a split second, which is enough time for the snake to either inflict a very painful, potentially fatal bite, or to disappear into the surrounding wetland. Generally, that is about as defensive as a cottonmouth is gonna get. If one's coming towards you, odds are it was already headed in that direction and you just kind of happened to be in its way. As you can see right here, the snake doesn't really care that I'm here. It's just kind of aggravated that I've interrupted whatever it was doing while crossing this path. It wants nothing to do with me. It wants to get back into the environment to hunt for animals. If I was to be in a one, one v one with this snake, this snake might be able to get a good bite on me. And I'd sure as heck be going to the hospital after a bite from this snake. But you know, if I wanted to, I could, I could stomp him to death before I ever have the effects of the venom. I'm not gonna do that because I think these snakes are gorgeous, but end of the day, I'm a lot more dangerous to the snake than the snake is to me. But how dangerous is the cottonmouth actually? These guys are listed as a pretty deadly snake, and a lot of people will think of them as a surefire death sentence. But how bad is the cottonmouth actually? And is this something that you should be really afraid of? Well, this the cottonmouth is in the genus Echistrodon, same genus as the copperheads. And we actually know that copperheads for North American pit vipers are on the low end of venom potency. And the truth is, when it comes to the actual chemical power of this snake, they're not much more toxic than a copperhead. The problem you have when you actually get a bite from a cottonmouth is gonna boil down to the amount of venom. See, a cottonmouth of this size, you can already look at that head, and you can see that it's got a bigger head than a copperhead of the same length. And generally, these are much bigger, uh, beefier snakes. 
And these snakes also cap out over twice the size of the biggest copperheads you're gonna find, which means their venom output is gonna be a heck of a lot stronger. One thing we don't talk about enough when it comes to venomous bites is we're always worried about how toxic the venom is. There are a lot of animals with a lot more toxic venom drop for drop than this snake. But if they sting or bite you, you'll be just fine because of how little venom they actually pump into your body. The venom of this snake is actually not that toxic compared to like a black widow or even some ants and wasps. The problem is this snake is so big at its maximum size. And even this little baby right here is probably big enough with those big old venom glands that it's probably able to give me a lethal dose of cottonmouth venom with one bite. And that's where the problems actually come into play. But as you can see here, this snake is not inclined to intentionally use that bite unless I were to lay a hand directly on the animal. The cottonmouth might not be as much of a monster as most people make it out to be, but it is still dangerously venomous and demands our respect, admiration, and distance. All venomous snakes are incredible forces of nature, and this video right here will show you exactly why you don't want to be bitten. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.